My dear friends in Christ, good morning. In the gospel passage from the Easter Vigil, we will hear the angels say to the woman approaching the tomb of Jesus, I know that you are seeking Jesus the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. Indeed, he is not here. He has been raised. I recently saw a meme that said, the first Easter didn't happen as a church. It happened outside of an empty tomb. While all the disciples were sequestered in home, grief-stricken and wondering what was going on. So we're all going to be keeping things pretty biblical this Easter. Although the message of this meme may be a little tongue-in-cheek, it does contain a lot of truth. None of us could have ever imagined that we would be celebrating Easter separately in our homes, instead of together in our spiritual home, the church. However, we must remember that on that first Easter Sunday, the risen Christ did not wait at the tomb for his disciples. Rather, the risen Christ broke through the confinement of the upper room to bring the glory of his resurrection to them. This year, as we find ourselves similarly confined because of the quarantine, we do not have to go anywhere to experience that Easter joy. Like the disciples, we must let the risen Christ enter into our homes in order to share the joy of his resurrection. In the passage quoted above, which comes from the gospel for the Easter, Easter vigil of this year, we hear the words that the angel of the Lord spoke to the women who were going to Jesus' tomb on that first Easter Sunday. As the women arrived at the tomb, the angel told them that Jesus wasn't there. So where was he? The words of the angel announced that Jesus is not there at the tomb. Rather, he is everywhere. This is the mystery and glory of the resurrection. Unlike the rising of Lazarus, Jesus' resurrection does not mean that he is simply up and running again. Instead, this is the glorified Jesus. No longer is his human body limited by time and space or even pain and suffering. For he is risen. The risen Christ is not there at the tomb, but here with us. He is here, present in our lives. For this reason, we don't have to go anywhere to encounter the resurrection of Jesus. This year, although we cannot gather together to encounter and celebrate the risen Christ in the spiritual home of our parish church, we can be like those disciples on the first Easter Sunday 2,000 years ago and encounter and celebrate the resurrection at home in our domestic church. This Easter Sunday, unlike any other, will require that we let our faith empower us to see the risen Christ, break through the barriers of separation and distancing, to share the good news that he has risen, just as he said. As an Easter people, let our Alleluia be the song that transforms bad news into good news. Let our singing of the Alleluia transmit the light of the risen Christ, which dispels the darkness of fear or despair. Let our Alleluia be sung from our homes so it reaches the doubting Thomas next door to those who have little or no faith that they may hear the invitation to see and touch the glorified body of the risen Christ. Let our Alleluia be our greeting to the risen Christ as he makes himself at home in all our homes. Happy Easter, and may God bless you.